Hello again. So, we are going to learn about something very new and very special, the list. A list is a, uh, it's a data type. It's uh, quite unique in that it's a data type that sort of has other data within it. But when you evaluate like a list, like let's say a variable that's assigned to a list, it's it's kind of registered as a single list value. And let's just, all right, who cares? Let's just go over what lists are. So a list, I'm gonna say that um, I have a shopping list. And that's gonna be equal to, this variable shopping list is equal to, you use square brackets and I'm gonna say, you know, bacon, eggs, Let's see the vegetable. How about cabbage and um, apples and bread? So I'm literally just listing a bunch of stuff, and that's what a list is. It's a it's a collection of different items um, that could be basically whatever data type you want. It could have been integers. It could have been uh, floats. It could have been booleans. It could have been a mixture. But it's a literally a collection of different items. So, you know, what can I do with that? Well, I can print out my list. So shopping list. I'm just gonna print it out. And it prints out the entire list. Okay, that's cool. Um uh, make sure you're separating the items in your list with a comma. That's important. Well, this whole list is fine. What if I want something particular from the list? That's when you're going to use what's called an index. So I'm going to start at index zero because that's where all lists start at, index zero. So I'm going to write my variable and then put square brackets next to the variable. And for index zero, we put a zero. And if I print that out, I get bacon because bacon is at what's called index zero. It, give, it basically starts to list at zero and then counts up from there. So index one is gonna be eggs. Index two, cabbage. So this is a way we can um, access the individual items within a list. And we can even modify lists. So I'm gonna say that shopping list at index um, uh, three. I'm gonna set that equal to, I don't want apples anymore what i want is a banana so now if i print out shopping list well let's just print out the whole list actually let's print out the whole list and now you can see i have replaced apple with banana so my list is no longer the same thing that i initially defined it as it's uh been replaced apple has been replaced with pineapple I mean, no, with bananas. What am I doing? Um, so that's something you can do. Be careful. If I'm printing out stuff on my list, and let's say I do index six, it gives me an error because there is no index six. It goes zero, one, two, three, four, and then you can't go any higher. So if I try five, still gives me an error. But it's, when I hit four, that's the maximum value uh, maximum index of the list. So that's as high as we can get up to uh, without causing an error. You can also have lists inside of lists. That's, that's just incredible. So let's take a look at that then. Um, I don't know. Maybe I want to separate this out with like fruits and vegetables in one and then all the other stuff in the other. So let me use it like this. Uh, okay. And yeah, let's take that. And common between those. All right. So what I did was I uh, made a list of vegetables and a wheat. And then I had my dairy on this other list. But the way this um, program is, is reading 
it is like if I print out index one, it prints out the dairy list, the entire dairy list. Because the way the program is recognizing it is you you this shopping list has two items in it. It has this first list as its as one item, and then it has the other list as a second item. So if I go up to like two, right? It causes an error because even though there's more than two things in the as individual items in the lists, uh, the shopping list only recognizes two items. So you've gone out of bounds, basically. If I did index zero, that would be the first list: the cabbage, apples, and the bread. So it reads these as their own individual items, just like as if it was a list of like and some x and you know, some why. It still behaves in the same way, where it just recognizes each list as a single value x or y. But there are ways to access the individual items. You have to put another square bracket there, and let's put a 2 for instance. If I print that out, it's going to print out bread. Because what it's doing is it goes to the zeroth index of this, of the shopping list. So it's looking at this list, and it picks the second index from that list, which is bread. If I went to the first index, and let's say I wanted to print out bacon, well, that would be one zero. Because it goes first index of shopping list. The first index is the list bacon and eggs. And then it goes into the zeroth index of that list, which is bacon. So that is the basic... Um, basic way we can work with lists, different things we can do with them. Um, this is really just scratching the surface. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that we can do. Um, and we'll get into some of that stuff in our next video.